So recently I've been getting a lot of questions emailed to me from subscribers, many of whom will profess that they've been a Christian for many years now. And they're asking questions just for the sake of asking questions. That's what it feels like. Now you know the saying, there are no dumb questions? Well, when it comes to Christianity, I like to switch that up and say, there are no questions the Bible can't answer. Now I have no problem with my subscribers emailing me to ask questions, but sometimes it feels like some of you are using me for the quick response, the quick answer. And you're doing that without doing your own legwork and trying to find it out for yourself through the examination of the Word of God, and that's the problem. I just had a subscriber email me and ask me if God is okay with homosexuality. Now, I didn't answer the question, but rather I referred him to his own Bible for the answer. Now, questions are okay, but here's the problem. You are never going to know God, his character, and or his nature unless you do the legwork to find out the truth about everything that has to do with his attributes. Learning who God is is your responsibility. Stop taking shortcuts and put in the work. For many of you, the biggest problem regarding your own personal sanctification is the fact that you are not in your Bibles enough, and that's just the truth. If God is slow to anger and patient, excuse me, since God is slow to anger, <laughs> we're always learning. Since God is slow to anger and patient, then why, when man first sinned, was his wrath and punishment so severe and long-lasting. Time out. <laughs> Didn't we just have that question a second ago? We did. Yeah, it's a little, I think little, we little did. nuance. That God's punishment for Adam was so severe. This creature from the dirt <laughs> defied the everlasting holy God. After that, God had said, the day that you shall eat of it, you shall surely die. And instead of dying, Thanatos, that day, he lived another day and was clothed in his nakedness by pure grace and had the consequences of a curse applied for quite some time, but the worst curse would come upon the one who seduced him, whose head would be crushed by the seed of the woman. And the punishment was too severe? What's wrong with you people? I'm serious. I mean, this is what's wrong with the Christian church today. We don't know who God is, and we don't know who we are. 